okay what do we have here guys i have uh, ordered a bunch of cylindrical lfp or lithium ferrophosphate cells so in this uh, particular video we are going to unbox them and plus we are going to talk about a few things like what should you do when you receive these cells and how to test if you received genuine a grade cells or high capacity cells that you asked for so let's unbox the parcel i think the packaging is very good and the first thing that i request with any seller is that please pack the order properly because you know physical damage is something which is absolutely not acceptable so here i think okay done with that and i hope okay so there was a good layer of foam there was good amount of shrink wrap and cool just sim sim so guys here are our cells so what i had ordered was okay so i had ordered a few accessories so this is the capton tape let's put it aside i had ordered holders for 15 h cells so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay so this is broken and 9 so two of them are broken and this is the reason guys i recommend that you always unbox your stuff on camera because you know when things go wrong it gets really hard now these holders are not very expensive these are the pieces but if your cells are bad then yeah okay so here are the cells the broken holders have also scratched up the cell a little bit so let's get them out so here are these are the hx brand 6h lithium ferrophosphate that is lifepo 4 cell and these are supposed to be 3c that is the ev grade so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so at least the count is good physically they look good make sure you always check your cells for dents and damages in the past i had a few uh, careless a seller shipped them in such a bad way that the cells were totally dented and unusable and here i have uh, these should be eight pieces so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight pieces of 15 ah cells okay so let me arrange this like so and while i do that i'll make sure to check for any physical damage or denting so and you should also make sure that any barcode or any qr code on the cell is intact it should not be rubbed off or damaged or tampered with okay so at least the cells are good holders i think i can forego but i'm not really sure okay so here we have it cells so these are the 15 ah ones these are c back 32140 fs let me show you the model number for a quick reference so there you go 32140 these are very nice cells 15000 mah that is 15 amp hours each here are the smaller ones and the first thing that i do when i receive any cell after checking for physical damage is to use my trusty clamp meter this is the sigma 313a if you want to buy this particular clamp meter then the buying link will be available in the video description or in the tagged products section over here and make sure to check the voltage of each and every cell the nominal voltage of any lfp or lifepo 4 cell is 3.2 volt okay so that's 3.2 i hope you are able to see the display that's 3.2 okay We put this aside so this these are the cells which have passed sort of now the other one this is 3.2 guys in the past i have received cells which were like at 1.1 volt or something and i had to contact the seller to replace them 
and you should not accept any cells which are below 3 volts if you want to take a look at that conversation then this particular video is available in the i button or in the description it was a hindi video on my hindi channel but yeah you get the idea what happened okay, this is again 3.2 volts so this time i specifically asked the seller to you know check each and every cell before shipping so that hopefully this batch is good let's see so i'm gonna check each and every cell for you guys okay so at least the smaller cells are good now let's check the larger ones i hope you can see the display all right so coming in from this side 3.2 let's, let's put this broken piece to use is that better? I hope it is. 3 3.278, 3.283, 3.28, 3.278, 3.279, 3.282, 3.282, 3.282. And the consistency between the voltage will also show how well matched with respect to capacity, with respect to internal resistance, with respect to their balancing they are. So the closer and tighter you get the voltages is the better. Okay, moving on. There's another test that I like to do, which is the use of a weighing scale. This is a very neat little weighing scale. Let's turn it on. And I have already posted a review for this uh, weighing scale. It's already available in I button or in the description. And the weighing scale is uh, pretty cheap. So I'm just going to put it here. I guess you can see the display. Let's put this tape in. Is that better? Okay. Actually, the tape is gonna tilt it and not make it accurate. So the weight for smaller cells is 140 grams, and you can compare this thing uh, in the manufacturer data sheet. You can download the PDF data sheet from their website and you can find out if your cells are original and high capacity or not because the fake cells are much lighter okay and having a good weight is often a sign of quality so i can see that consistently each and every cell is 140 grams there and let's see these ones okay so they are almost 300 grams 292 293 you should also pay attention to consistency of the weight so if like it's it's varying a lot like it's one one is 250 and the like the other is 300 then there's something wrong with that batch so they are like within one or two grams of each other so that is the quality control that you look for see all of them are like 293 292 something like that see 294 so it's like two three grams here and there but mostly they are consistent and that's a sign of high quality cell Apart from that, guys, you can also check the IR, but uh, IR or internal resistance testing machine is a bit expensive. So generally people don't afford that. At least DIYers don't afford that. If you are a seller, you might want to invest in an IR machine. But uh, right over here, I think I'm pretty satisfied. After this, uh, what we can do is we can go for a capacity test and we can find out if we are getting the genuine capacity of these cells. Guys, if you want to learn how to build LFP batteries or if you want to know more in general with respect to lithium batteries, then there will be a bunch of cards popping up on your screen like this. You can click on any of them and learn something new today. I've made similar videos with respect to cells when it comes to prismatic batteries. So you can find all of those videos right here. That's it for this neat little video, guys. Take care and have a nice day.